Stephanie, your friendly neighborhood business librarian. I'm going to guide you through the differences between publicly traded and privately held companies and show you how to find quality sources for your assignments. Understanding what kind of company you're dealing with can help you narrow down the most appropriate resources for your assignment. Let's start with public companies. Publicly traded companies issue securities, such as stock, bonds, or options that can be owned by the general public. When a privately held company issues its first sale of securities to the public, they will have an initial public offering, or an IPO. After its IPO, a company will be given a unique ticker symbol to identify its securities when it starts trading on a stock market, such as the Toronto Stock Exchange. Securities can also be traded on an over-the-counter market, where the trades are done through the phone, email, or trading software. Publicly traded companies are heavily regulated, as they have to follow disclosure rules set out by securities legislation. If you're a public company, you have to submit filings, like annual reports and financial statements, to securities regulators, such as the Securities and Exchange Commission. The reason for this is to make information about these companies transparent, because members of the public can invest in them. If this type of information isn't available, then people would be hesitant to invest in a company. And because they have to put all of this information out there, it makes it a lot easier for you to research these companies. So, how do privately held companies compare? Privately held companies are not traded on stock exchanges or over-the-counter markets. This doesn't mean that they're small mom-and-pop businesses. In fact, they can easily be large or medium-sized companies. Private companies are owned by small numbers of investors, such as company founders, key employees, or family members. They may also have shareholders, but the stock is traded privately and not available to the general public. Private companies typically don't have to submit filings to securities regulators except in special circumstances. For example, in the United States, privately held companies with more than 500 shareholders and more than $10 million in assets must file financial information with the SEC. For most private companies, you won't be able to find or verify information about their financials or locate detailed third-party research reports. Thanks for watching. Now you know that researching publicly traded companies is a little different from researching privately held companies. You can easily find out what kind of company you're dealing with by using Hoover's and LexisNexis Academic, two of York's research databases. Check out the two videos on the screen to find out how.